Hi, I'm Erica Dykus, and I'm an advocate with the Crisis Center. I work at the Crisis Center because every day I get to come to work and feel supported in what I do, supported as a person, and I feel like the people here care about me and care about our mission. I'm Kristen from Screwbox Solutions, and my husband and I own a uh, map repair business in downtown Tampa, and we were invited on a tour of the Crisis Center. And we were just so impressed with the presentation and what the Crisis Center does for our community, the Tampa Bay community, that we wanted to be a part of it. So we have put uh, two drop boxes, or a drop box in our office for um, every time we, he does a hard drive repair, he puts $10 in. And with that, our customers have seen that they can also support uh, by putting, donating um, into the drop box. So it's been a really a wonderful experience for us to see our customers also supporting the Crisis Center. And um, we're just so committed to this cause and we're just really excited to be partnering with the Crisis Center. My name is Molly Ray German and I'm a nurse practitioner and I work at the Crisis Center with the Nurse Examiner Program, which I consider a great privilege because in this program I can really make a difference help someone, to emotionally support them, and to get such criminals off the street. When I first began uh, with the Crisis Center was after coming to the annual breakfast, but whether anybody, in my view, uh, hears about the Crisis Center's mission at the annual breakfast or to share compassion, when you hear about what the Crisis Center does to work with the isolated uh, elderly, work with uh, families in our family support service that are in danger of losing their house and their family due to financial circumstances beyond their control, loss of job, medical ailment, those type of things. When you see what the Crisis Center does for women and children suffering uh, abuse, sexual violence, when you look at all the services at the Crisis Center, what they provide, Anybody who becomes aware of the quality, the diligence, uh, the work of the Crisis Center, I, I don't see how anyone could turn their back and walk away. What the Crisis Center does every day in our community is we save lives, we save families, and we save future. It's an integral part of our community, and it's an honor for any of us to be part of this organization. Um, hello, my name is Zoe Eastman, and I'm currently a volunteer with the NAP at the Crisis Centre. Um, I've been volunteering here for a little over a year and I decided I wanted to volunteer at the Crisis Centre because I strongly believe in helping people that don't, that normally wouldn't be able to go to, to talk to someone about what they're going through in their life. It's, I know how important it is for me personally when I went through a similar situation and to know that you are not alone and that there are people there that are willing to help you and care about you is the most empowering, positive thing and any person can go can experience. Hi, I'm Karen Frazier and I'm a volunteer with the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. And I have to tell you, I became a volunteer because Carissa Caracato invited me to a lunch and learn. It is the most expressive experience that I've had in a long time because I saw what was happening at the center. I saw all of the things that the Crisis Center contributes to the community. And I've lived in many communities, worked in health care most of my career, and I've never seen a place quite like it. Tampa Bay has a real jewel, and I hope you'll join me in supporting the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay.